Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian-only channel. Um, Cross-watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, I do have a Virgo and Leo-only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it. What do I have in my hair? Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you and your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. I give away two four question text readings, hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Just post a positive affirmation and um or something that you're grateful for for that with a green heart and i give away a mystery crystal box hashtag crystals for that i'm also giving away uh one spirit shield tarot deck so hashtag tarot for that um if you would like to purchase this it's 60 percent off on my website royal rose oracle is back in stock it is on my website um, mystery crystal boxes are $22.22. You get quite a few uh, crystals. You can choose either spheres or skulls as the main theme right now. Um, and I think that's it. I'm open for text readings right now only. And pre-recorded readings are 20% off. Guys, I just woke up. Bear with me. I don't know. Do I look like a hot mess? Probably. 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 It's my birthday today. Happy birthday to all my Cancer baby twins. We be twinning. All right, my loves. I hope everybody is having an amazing weekend. All right, let's see what we have here. What am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my Cancer babies. I'm grateful for my YouTube family. I'm grateful for my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. I've had people ask me why I'm wearing hoodies when we're in the middle of July because my house is freezing. My house is freezing. My house is so cold that when I go outside into the humidity, my glasses fog up. <laughs> and that's the way I'm keeping it. All right, let's get popping here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got yes. We've got submissive. We've got humor. And we've got nature. Oh, this is really nice, Cancer. I'm liking this. We've got nostalgia and we've got honesty. Cancer, I see you having a conversation. So this is going to be your person side, right? So there is definitely an energy of laughter here. Um, you guys are out in either out in nature or out in your backyard. There's definitely seems to be greenery here, flowers. Um, maybe you're taking a walk with somebody or meeting somebody at a park. You're definitely going to be outdoors when this happens. I'm seeing a lot of laughter. Someone's laughing at your humor here, Cancer. Like you said or did something stupid. Like, you know, Cancers can be really goofy. Okay, cancers could be really, really goofy, okay? So I feel like you're meeting up with somebody here. Uh, it's almost like somebody is agreeing that maybe they're asking to meet up with you or it could be that someone is finally giving in. Um, this person's coming towards you with like swords down. Like this is someone that doesn't want to argue with you. This is someone that maybe agrees with something like maybe you guys had an argument right cancer and someone here's like listen i don't want to fight with you anymore i, I don't want to fight with you anymore i don't want to you know i've missed you the truth is i've missed you so cancer this could be a love interest this could be a friend or a family member but it's almost like someone laughing and saying i forgot how freaking stupid i forgot how clumsy you are i forgot how silly you are you know it's almost like someone here is just laughing and in a good mood because they're in your presence again and i do see this happening i do see this happening in a spot where there's 
like a lot of just, I don't know, you guys are outdoors. I don't know what to tell you. You guys are out there. It could even be in someone's backyard, but you're outdoors when this conversation is taking place. A lot of laughter, just, you know, there, there's just this vibe of, you know, I missed how silly you were, or I missed your sense of humor or something along those lines. All right, let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about cancer. We've got the Hermit. We could be dealing with a Virgo. And the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Cancer, this is definitely a person that has done a lot of soul searching. This person has been alone. And what they've, what they've, it's kind of like the, 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 the Hermit is like an energy of sitting back, reliving a situation, looking back and, and just analyzing every little detail. And with the Hierophant here, this could be an energy of, I should have committed when I had the chance or realizing that someone here was actually like solid. Um, this could also be a divine contract. This could be someone that's come to realize that you and them have a divine, uh, contract, in this lifetime someone here may be look if this is love related this is someone that could be looking back and saying you know i just should have if you were already married to this person this could be an ex reflecting on the fact that they should have stayed tell me about submissive here we've got the knight of wands in the reverse so cancer this is someone that could be telling you that you were right about something that they shouldn't have done something so the Knight of Wands in the Upright Cancer is known to be the player in the deck because the Knight of Wands does what he wants to do or what she wants to do without thinking about the feeling of others, okay? It's a very passionate thing. Imagine you're on a diet and you get this ultimate craving for chocolate cake and you uh, you know, maybe you're sick. Maybe you got diabetes or something. Maybe you can't eat chocolate cake. You can't do that. Okay. You got a wedding to go to. You got four inches that you have to lose off your waist and you you can't be eating chocolate cake, but that urge comes over you and you're like, screw it. I'm just going to cheat this once and I'm going to go get it. And you get in the car, you're driving 89 miles an hour to the food store, to the bakery to get this chocolate cake. It doesn't matter who it hurts. It doesn't matter if you're hurting yourself. It doesn't matter anything, you know? That's the vibe of the Knight of Wands. So I think that when you were with this individual in the past, that's the way they were. If they saw something they liked or if they, they saw it, it's like they did whatever they wanted to do without thinking. They did it in the heat of the moment without thinking about how you would feel about it. You know, they just didn't think. And I think that Cancer, this person is agreeing with you that they shouldn't have acted that way. I do see that with the Knights of Pentacles, this is a long overdue apology coming in. I'm getting a friendship vibe. I got to be honest here though, Cancer. I think that when you come back together with this person, you guys might be meeting, you know, again at a park or I'm seeing a gazebo or going for a walk or meeting up in a backyard or a front yard, but definitely an energy of like friends, friends first type of vibe. So it's going to be a little platonic when you guys get back together. But I, I do feel that an apology has been weighing on this person for being so hasty, being so rash with the Knight of Swords under the deck. This is a long overdue apology. This person has been sitting on this for quite some time. All right, Spirit, tell me about nostalgia, please. The Justice card, Libra Energy. Cancer, the, cancer, the karma that this person faced or the consequences are, are of their actions are that they really missed you. They really missed you. And during this time of, of absence, they came to realize that, you know, whatever they did was not fair to you. Whatever they did was not fair to you. Honesty here and the seven of pentacles. Cancer, we've got nostalgia and the seven of pentacles, which is also nostalgia. This person is going to come clean and tell you, man, I've really missed you. Like, man, I have really, really missed you. I've missed your voice. I've missed your sense of humor. I've missed, you know, the stupid way you eat this or that or whatever the case may be. Like all your silly little quirks, Cancer. You know, this person has missed you. 
they've missed you. All right, so let's see what you have for this person. So definitely a long overdue apology coming in towards you. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. So cancer, with escaping here and distance, you may have um, done everything you could to put space between you and this person. It is possible that maybe you moved out of the out of the town or state that you knew this person in or you did everything you could to push this individual away or or avoid this person but we've got beginnings here and hoping so cancer there's even a part of you that could have potentially hoped for this to come back your way again This is a connection that could have ended due to third party, you know, interference here. Cancer, it may have been either you that put distance between yourself and this person or they did. But there was definitely a stalemate here. And I do feel like you miss this person as much as they, you've both missed each other. You've missed this person as much as they've missed you. Yeah, spirit, with time and chasing here, Cancer, um, I feel like this person is going from zero to 60. It's going from having no communication to this individual whatsoever to them really wanting to see you, to them really like wanting to talk to you. Again, I'm I'm got to be honest, Cancer. As of right now, I'm not seeing this like crazy romantic lovey dovey reconciliation taking place. I feel like they just want to talk. They just want to be in your presence. They want to just be around you again. Under the deck, we've got depth. And we've got shallow. So Cancer, it could be that when you were with this person, you were very deeply in love with them. And this person was a little shallow. Maybe they chose a third party over you that they felt looked better than you. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about Cancer. Tell me more about Cancer, please. We've got intuition with magnetic attraction. Cancer, when you were with this person intuitively, you may have known that this person was uh, attracted to a different type than you, or there could be, there could have been like a friend in the picture and you knew that your person was attracted to somebody else around you. Intuitively, you knew that this is somebody Oh, excuse me, that this is somebody that was attracted to an outside person. And with heartbreak and hookup cancer, you had a feeling that this is someone that may have cheated. They may have been going out and having one night stands. They may have cheated and it hurt something fierce. They, they betrayed you. This person chose lust over love and they broke your heart. And your intuition knew it. You had a feeling. You had maybe had a, a dream or something like that. And we've got travel here with reconciliation. Yeah, I'm telling you, Cancer, on this travel card, again, you could have moved far away. Or it could be that someone is traveling to come see you because you are definitely at a distance from this person for many of you. I mean, it could be uh, energetic distance or it could be geographic that's a big word, geographical distance. But I feel like many of you are far away from this person. Either you moved or they moved. But either way, a lot of distance between you guys. There's been pl plenty of time to heal from this. And I am seeing a reunion taking place. I am. I am seeing a reunion taking place. I feel that cancer, when you guys see each other again, I do feel a flood of emotion is going to hit both of you. I feel like there's a little bit of fear here that there's, you know, a little bit of uneasiness, 
because you and this person may both be single right now. You are both wondering if you guys will start dating again, possibly. There's a, there's this reconciliation comes with happiness because you guys have missed being around each other, but there's a fear on both of your ends on both of your ends about starting over again. We've got mask. And soulmate. So Cancer, a very strong soul tie between you and this individual. You guys could be twin flames, past life soulmates. You guys can be regular soulmates. But what's this mask? An addiction. So Cancer, this is something to worry about. This is somebody that could be uh, addicted to drugs, alcohol, or it could just, it could this could be negative or it could be positive. It could be that this person has picked up some negative um, uh, addiction, or it could be that you guys are both obsessed with each other, but not showing it, but not showing it. I do feel like there is a third party energy here and it could be friend, family, or, you know, sexual or romantic. This friend already, or this third party is starting to see signs and they're getting scared that something is going to change because you guys have come together. With secret crush here and truth cancer, there is a third party here that either has a crush on you and they are panicking because they feel like you're going to reconcile with this person or it's on your person's part where your person has somebody that is crushing on your person. And now that you guys are coming back together, there's a fear that there is a fear of you guys reconciling. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and take it into the extended. I'm going to leave this as is. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at you and this person. Is this going to lead to a reconciliation? And if it does, what does that look like long term? Okay. And two, what is going to happen here with this third party? What is going to happen with this third party? Is, is your person going to, is this third party going to be pulled out of the picture? So you guys, if you do start over, it can come together in a healthy way. Or is this already starting off with a problem? Okay. All right, guys, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and happy birthday again to my cancer babies.